you can think of color correction as two major things. There's color correction where you're fixing things and color correction where you're enhancing things. When you're fixing things, you're worrying about overexposure, underexposure, or color casts. When you're enhancing things, you're giving your video clips a filmic look, or you're just making them look a little bit better than they looked when you shot them in the field. Now, a little bit more than half of this course will be on fixing things. And so in this lesson, I want to give you some examples of things that have gone wrong. So to follow along, go to Working Files, and go to Premiere Pro Projects, and go on down to Intro Examples. Now, I've set up this workspace specifically for color correction, and I'm going to talk about setting up your workspace to do color correction. So if your workspace is not set up like this, that's okay. I'm just going to use this for a demonstration purpose. I want to go through a bunch of clips here that have some problems, except for this first one here. This first one actually is properly exposed. The shot of the Sonoma County coast here in California, just a little bit outside of Bodega Bay, looking north here. A little bit of a sunset going on here, and I can tell it's properly exposed looking at this waveform monitor, and we're going to talk about using scopes a lot in this course, but I can look at this and see that there's a full range of luminance here from 0 to 100, and that's a good thing when you're trying to properly expose a clip. So this clip is fine, but I do want to enhance it just a little bit, so I'm going to click on it to select it. I've already applied the luma curve effect to it, and I've already done some changes to the luma curve effect just to give it a little bit more contrast, like so. Notice how the dark areas got a little bit darker, and the bright areas got a little bit brighter, just to give it some more contrast. Let's go on down to this next clip here. This clip is overexposed, and I can see that here in the waveform monitor because we're above zero and above 100, so it's overexposed. It's too bright. You can also see it here in the program monitor. And the easy way to fix that is with Luma Curve again. So I just turn that on. I've already changed it, and now we've properly exposed it. But sometimes when you change the exposure, you also change the color a bit. Perhaps we want to enhance the color just a bit, so I use the fast color corrector just to give it a little bit of a warmer feel there, a little bit more like a sunset. Next clip is seriously underexposed. And when you have a seriously underexposed clip and fix its tonality, lots of times you end up with kind of a desaturated clip. So I'll fix the tonality here using the Luma curve. And you can see, okay, now we've got it properly exposed, pretty well anyways, but it looks kind of black and white. So we can enhance that using the three-way color corrector where I affect color in the three tonal ranges in the shadows and the mid-tones and the highlights. Like so, just to give it a little bit more of a bluer sky with an orange sunset feel and kind of warm up these cliffs a bit there. Now you may think these tomatoes look perfectly fine, but they're just a bit too red and a bit too bright. I can see they're too bright by looking at the waveform scope here and seeing that we're above the 100 line there. That's one little clue. But I can also tell they're too red by looking at the gray card I put in the scene when I shot this. And look at the gray card and see if it in fact is gray. And the way I check that is with the change color effect. Now, the change color effect doesn't really check it for me, but it has an eyedropper in it. I click on the eyedropper and sample this gray area there. I go back and look at it here. I see RGB, and it's skewed toward red and away from blue. So I can tell it's a little bit too red. So I can fix that using a color correction effect. Let me close this down. First of all, I need to fix the tonality because it's too bright. So I've got the Luma curve for that. Now we brought it back down to a proper tonality. And now I can fix the color to make it not so red using the three-way color corrector. And now it's properly red. And I can check my color again by going over here and clicking on this eyedropper and clicking on you and checking the numbers over here. And when the numbers line up like they do here, 98, 198, when they're more or less equal, that's a neutral color. That's gray. It's not important whether they're a high number or a low number. The fact that they're relatively close together, that means that you've got gray and you've accomplished your task of resetting the color here to make sure that you've got a proper red down here. Under this next shot here, this looks for all the world like it was properly exposed, but in fact, that building is yellow. I'll show you the original shot with it's properly color balanced. Let's double click on this one here. And that's how it really looks. Even though the blue sky is really stunningly blue, at that time of day, it actually looked like that. That's because I set the color balance here incorrectly under the shade. Let's go back here to the reference monitor. So I need to fix the color of this building, but I don't want to change the blue sky. I kind of like that blue sky. So the first thing I'm going to do is adjust the tonality here because it's too bright. You can see it's too bright over here. So I click on Luma Curve to do that. Now I want to fix the color, but just here inside the highlights. So I use the three-way color corrector for that. And boom, we make that building look more like the original building. And we maintain the blue in the sky. That's just one approach you can use when you use the three-way color corrector. And down a little bit farther, this vineyard, I took the color balance here off of the entire vineyard. I just pointed my camera at it and got an average white balance of the whole scene. Well, the vineyard is kind of yellow, and so it shifted the color away from yellow down towards cyan. So this is the wrong color. We need to fix that. So I'm going to, first of all, adjust the tonality because it's too bright. So I click on Luma Curve. Now I need to fix the color using the three-way color corrector, like that. And that's the real color of that scene. 
So we'll take a look at this dining room here. This is really a mess. I took my color balance off the entire room, and these walls here dominated it. They're really red, not that kind of dark maroon. And so the fact that the red walls are there shifted the color in the wrong direction, toward blue. So we need to fix this, and we also need to fix the tonality. Rather than use Luma Curve to adjust tonality, I'm going to use RGB Curves instead, something we're going to talk about in the course. It has a tonality adjustment tool right there, plus it can adjust various color channels. But I'm going to use the tablecloth as my reference. The tablecloth should be neutral. It's brighter than the gray card, but it still should be neutral. So I'm going to check the color of that. Click on the eyedropper here. Go get a sample off of that tablecloth. Take a look at it. You can see that it is skewed heavily toward blue and green and away from red. So we need to fix that. So I use the RGB curves to fix that. We check our colors again. See how that looks. And there you go, really close. 121, 127, 123, that's pretty darn close. I think we're happy with that. All right, we'll take a look at this last shot here of this woman. She's skewed a little bit toward magenta here in terms of the color balance. So we need to fix that. We also need to fix the luma. That's kind of an interesting feature when you fix color when you've got someone's face there. You can use the face as a reference, just like I used the tablecloth and the gray card. We can use the face for a reference. So I'm going to crop to her face. I'm going to change the scope to a different scope called the vector scope. And if you get the color to line up along this line, then you'll set the proper color balance for the whole scene. So I'm going to use the three-way color corrector to do that after I set the luma values. And then to do that, we shift her over there toward that line. I'm going to turn off the crop and we'll see how that works. So there you have it, a whole bunch of clips that were shot incorrectly in the field. But I think you can see that it's a relatively simple matter to use the effects inside Premiere Pro to fix them.